Assalamualaikum guys, hope you're all well. And today I've got a burfi recipe for you as sweets used throughout the subcontinent. Please stay with me guys and I'll get straight into it. Okay guys, I'm going to make a start so I'm going to need one cup of desi ghee. Yes. And I'm going to put it on a low heat and let it melt. Give this a mix and as soon as it's melted, add one cup of milk. Whole milk that is. It's on a very low heat and I'm going to give it a mix. Once I've mixed it, I'm going to add three cups of milk powder. Mix it all in. So all that powder is mixing with that ghee and the milk. So you'll give it a good mix, once you've mixed it, you keep on mixing it and cook it on a low heat for about 5 minutes. So you'll keep on cooking this on a low heat until the oil comes to the top, which it is now slowly. Once the oil comes to the top, Put some green cardamoms in, about three green cardamoms, crushed very fine. And one cup of sugar, not full to the rim, uh, just below the rim. And you'll give this a good mix now, because the sugar is going to release its water as well, and you'll keep on cooking this until the sugar releases its water. You'll keep on cooking this on a low heat. Give it a mix, make sure you don't uh, burn it until the uh, ghee comes up again once again. Okay guys, I've been cooking it for a further 10 minutes and the ghee is starting to come up to the top now. And I've been mixing it all the way through and I'm going to put the uh, potassio in now. So these are pistachios crushed fine, add as much as you like. Bismillah. Spread them out. And then give that a good mix. Beautiful. Once you've added the pistachio in, give it a good mix and then just turn it off. We're going to pour it into the tray now. Then I'm going to get, get some uh, ghee, melt it down, and then just brush it on the tray, on the sides. And you can notice I've got a saucer at one end of the tray, because the tray is a bit big. So the ghee, the burfi will end up about here, and I'm going to let it set then. But if you've got a smaller tray, that's better. But if you want to make a big uh, tray, that's up to yourself as well. So you just brush the ghee on the bottom. This is so you don't stick to the tray. Okay guys, before it starts uh, setting, I'm going to start pouring it in. This and I'm going to use this spoon to keep it that side. Look at that. And then I'm going to push it over because it's going to start setting quite quick. Once you pushed it over, before it sets, you're going to spread some pistachio, cashew nuts, almonds, whatever you require, dried fruits. Just spread it over. Once you spread the pistachio and the dried fruits, you're going to let, leave this to set for about 3 hours. But to get it to this stage, it only takes about 10-12 minutes. From when I put the first ghee in, right up to the, at this stage, it takes about 12 minutes. So I'm going to let this set now. MashaAllah guys, the burfi is ready. And I'm just going to cut it up and then I'll show you. You can cut it into any shape you like. I'm just going to cut it to the traditional shape, squares. Yes.
Yeah, you, like I say, you can cut them in any shape you like. So easy to do, guys. You gotta have a go at this one. Very famous sweets. These are the butterfies. You keep them in the fridge for overnight and they'll go a bit more further. Now. MashaAllah guys, so easy to do these sweets. Uh, also known as Mitai, Burfi. Uh, really easy to do, so do have a go guys. Turned out absolutely beautiful. Look at them. Please do have a go guys and thanks for watching and please do like, subscribe and share to my channel. Until next time, Asalaamu Alaikum.